first I'm going to welcome you. So my name is Kate Clayton, and I am the pastor of San Geronimo Community Presbyterian Church, where today I'm sitting in the train station where I usually hold church unless we are in person. And the first thing I want to do is acknowledge that we in San Geronimo are living our lives on unceded Coast Miwok territory. And I just want to acknowledge that. I'm not sure what we can do about it at this point, but I know that, um, that we need to at least begin by acknowledging it. And I want to say I've been here ministering in this area for 10, a little more than 10 years. So I know many, many of you on the screen. I've been in many community gatherings with you. And I want to welcome you to the 16th annual uh, community gathering for our celebration of community and re-emerging with gratitude, compassion, hope, and courage. So we will be enjoying time with um, many faith communities and many people who are joining as individuals. And I just would like to welcome you to this space. So I am going to um, turn it over to our music director, Jeff Labus. Jeff, if you could unmute and play your original song, we would love that. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Is that a good level? That's good. I am filled up with the spirit of life, and I am grateful to be alive. I am surrounded. Jeff, and thank you, Danielle, for putting those words in the chat. I think Danielle will be trying to add the words for the songs as they come up into the chat, or else share on the screen one or the other. So our first presentation is from the Native American tradition. We've tried to organize it somewhat chronologically, and the Native Americans have preceded the rest of us uh, by a long, long time. So it's Marty Mead reading from Wisdom Keepers and then Mary Kitchens, whose name I almost got right. <laughs> Am I on spotlight? I'm sorry, I didn't come yes, up. Okay. You are. All right. I I am so grateful for being here. And uh, to open, I will sing just one verse of the Four Directions song, which is the opening prayer. It's this. It's about the circle. Our, our four, four directions reminds us of living a balanced life. And um, so I'll begin with just the first chorus, which is praying to the West. We oh hey apatanyo. Nitun kashela ahe tun wayon kilo yu hey 
I'm here because I'm representing uh, my, my group, the Ameri Marin American and Indian Alliance, but I'm also here in honor of my Pima grandmother who uh, was taken as a child and put in a boarding school. Uh, Mary Kitchen will join me afterwards singing several, uh, I, a, a traditional song. She's uh, the drum keeper for our group. But I wanted to share writings from native elders on the meaning of Thanksgiving, beginning with Black Hawk, who is Sock and Fox Nation. And the second is Lewis Farmer, who reminded me of the Strawberry Festival at Cooley Loco in Olima. This is a happy season of the year, having plenty of provisions such as beans, squashes, and other produce with our dried meat and fish. We continue to make feasts and visit each other until our corn is ripe. At least one of the lodges in the village makes a feast daily for the great spirit. I cannot explain this, so that is why the white people will, I cannot explain this so that the white people will comprehend me because we have no regular standard amongst us. Everyone makes his feast as he thinks best to please the great spirit who has the care of all beings created. And from Lewis Farmer, who happens to be, uh, is an Iroquois. Indians celebrate what's happening now. When the sacred strawberries come up in early spring, that's what we celebrate. They're not just strawberries to us. They're the creator's gift to his children. They're good to eat, good to drink, but more than that, they have creator's power in them. So strawberries are more than just plants to us. That's why every year we have our strawberry Thanksgiving. It's something that's happening now to us, not something that happened long ago to somebody else. In late spring, we plant the corn and beans and squash. They're not just plants, we call them the three sisters. We plant them together, three kinds of seeds in one hole. They want to be together with each other, just as we Indians want to be together with each other. As so long as the three sisters are with us, we know we will never starve. The creator sends them to us each year. We celebrate them now. We thank him for the gift he gives us today and every day. And I wanted to share that because the Miwoks do have a strawberry festival in March. It's absolutely beautiful. We used to meet at uh, Cooley Loco and um, I don't know where the gathering will be, but that is one special Thanksgiving that you should all take part of. Uh, for me, at, as a 51 year old member of the Valley, it means gratitude for my neighbors, who look after their elders and those that are struggling to survive during this time of COVID. The Valley Emergency Fund that started out as a small group of friends and the San Geronimo COVID Emergency Fund that helped over 70 families for several months. The ongoing food pantries between the Presbyterian Church and the community center. And now the efforts to find low cost housing by an energized, energetic group of volunteers. This valley reflects what is sacred to me as a Native American. I give thanks to Creator who led me to this very special place when we decided that we wanted a better place for our children. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff, for that beautiful song. And Marty, 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 I love you, Marty. Thank you. <laughs> Creator. Thank you for the gift of this day. Great mystery of creation. Thank you for the breath of life. Thank you for the first two medicines of air to breathe and water to drink. Thank you for this beautiful gift of the ability to put our feet here on Coast Miwok land. May all beings have be surrounded by beauty and have a beautiful song to sing. I look forward to the songs of joy that are coming up in our program. And I thought today um, this, this song came to me as the one to sing 
today to give thanks to the beautiful water, the beautiful rains that we've had. And um, the song that is in Cherokee in English talks about Amahea, the water spirit, water woman, and gives thanks for Ama, that is, that's water, and contains the phrase Ama Gunida, which is water is life. So much, Mary. That was fantastic. Thank you, Marty. Yes. Next, we have Gon Halev, and I believe Carol Friedman will lead off with a song by Leonard Cohen, Anthem. The birds they sang at the break of day Start again, I heard them say Don't dwell on what has passed away Or what is yet to be Ah, the wars, they will be fought again the holy dove, she will be caught again, bought and sold and bought again. The dove is never free. Ring the bells that still can ring. Forget your perfect offering. There is a crack. A crack in everything That's how the light gets in We asked for signs The signs were sent The birth betrayed The marriage spent Yea, the widowhood of every government Signs for all to see I can't run no more with that lawless crowd While killers in high places say their prayers out loud But they've summoning up a thundercloud And they're gonna hear from me You can add up the parts, but you won't have the sum 
You can stripe up the mad march. There is no drum to every heart to love will come. But like a refugee, ring the bells that still can ring. Forget your perfect offering. There is a crack, a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. That's how the light gets in. That's how the light gets in. Thank you so much, Carol. Devo Knepler has some words for us. Hi, everybody. In traditional Judaism, we believe we reemerge every morning. The Midrash says that when a person sleeps, parts of their soul ascend heavenward and draw life from the source of life. We say a concise prayer of thanksgiving upon opening our eyes before getting out of bed. It is called Modeh Ani. Modeh Ani Lefanecha Melechai Vikayom Shehechazarta Bi Nishmati Bechemla Raba Emunatecha. I offer thanks to you, living and eternal God, for you have mercifully restored my soul within me. Your faithfulness is great. Contemporary Judaism acknowledges current events. This is from Rabbi Hannah Estrin. Everything has a time, a time for staying home and a time for physical distancing, a time for masks and gloves and protections, a time for buildings, parks and beaches to be closed. There is a time for life to happen online and a time to remain apart. This does not mean that we have returned to life as it was. We cannot. The world has changed and we have changed with it. Immersing in the waters of life is a way to mark the sacredness of time, a way to move forward in creating a new normal, a step toward rejoining the physical community. I want to name and honor my reactions during this difficult time, to know that my reactions, though different from those around me, were okay. To recognize that my trauma and grief are real and honest, that each of us is different, to honor the challenges I have experienced and those I may continue to have. By honoring all that has been, I choose to let go and move forward, to acknowledge anew my trust in God and God's control. With that, I pray to be open to my return to life as it will be and all the opportunities it will present. In Judaism, also, we give thanks twice a day with a prayer called the Shema. It's our expression of gratitude. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Yahafta et Adonai Elohecha. Ukatavtam amazuzot betecha uvisharecha. You shall have Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and you shall speak of them when you are sitting at home, when you go on a journey, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall Bind them as a sign upon your hand, 
and they shall be jewels between your eyes. You shall inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Back to you, Carol. It's actually very, you'll, you'll see that there's a theme I didn't know that was flowing through both of them, what we're, what we're doing. Um, this song, you will all know, especially if you're a person of a certain age, it's turn, turn, turn. And I, I realized um, actually sitting here and thinking about it that Pete Seeger was, um, and this was his song, my first introduction to somebody who was a fierce advocate for social justice and inclusion. And um, I, I, you know, I'm remembering him now. I actually saw him when I was a little kid several times. So this is Turn, Turn, Turn. Uh, to everything, turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, turn turn and a time for every purpose under heaven a time to be born a time to die a time to plant a time to reap a time to kill a time to heal a time to laugh and a time to weep to everything turn 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 there is a season turn 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 and a time for every purpose under heaven a time to build up a time to break down time to dance a time to mourn mourn sorry time time to cast away stones a time to gather stones together to everything turn 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 there is a season turn 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 and a time for every purpose under heaven a time of war a time of peace a time of love a time of hate a time you may embrace a time to refrain from embracing to everything turn 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 there is a season turn 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 and a time for every purpose under heaven a time to gain, a time to lose, a time to rend, a time to sow, a time to love, a time to hate, a time of peace. I swear it's not too late. To everything turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, 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 and a time for every purpose under heaven. Amen. Thank you, Carol. Our next presenter, thank you, Gan Halev, Devo, and Carol. Our next presenter is Spirit Rock's own Antonio Aversano, Brother Antonio. Hello. So grateful and glad to be here with you today. This is such a blessing for me personally to share such a gathering together. 
And it's a deep honor for me to come as a voice of Spirit Rock Meditation Center, which is just down the road from for a lot of us here in in Marin and and specifically I'm in I'm on Miwok land that uh, is occupied by white people like me and is now called Fairfax. That's where I'm sitting right now. So I'm really grateful to be with everyone and again honored to um, share a little uh, what what was guided was to actually share a little practice with you from Spirit Rock. I'm a volunteer at Spirit Rock Meditation Center um, and a fellow student and practitioner of meditation for many years and it's such a treasure to have that that space where we can come together in community like we're doing here and what has really been a blessing for me to have found the ways of the Buddha was as I'm sure some of you know the story that awakening for Gautama the Buddha happened by sitting still and being quiet I know I can <laughs> That's a great practice for me in this life because I know for myself all the troubles in my life happen from the thoughts I make out, make up about what's going on, what should be, what shouldn't be, how I should be, how I shouldn't be. How do I gain perspective from that is, is a practice. And the best practice for me is to sit and be still. So. I'm going to invite us into such a practice today. Um, so there's two things that came through because it is this time of uh, remembering gratitude here in North America, this time of Thanksgiving, um, however that might be celebrated uh, or honored. For me, it is a time of remembering gratitude in this idea from one of my indigenous wisdom teachers of sacred reciprocity that offering gratitude is actually showing life that I'm paying attention and I care so two parts of what I would like to share with you today one is we're just gonna sit still for a minute we're gonna sit in silence ask invite everyone to make sure your mic, mic is muted I'm gonna keep track of the time for one minute and just what would it be like to sit still and be quiet for a minute? And then I'm going to move us into a loving kindness meditation. It's a metta practice, as we call, call it in that tradition, which is offering loving kindness, our loving awareness and vibrations of loving kindness out into the, to the world. So to begin, I invite you to close your eyes if you feel comfortable doing so. Taking a deep breath in through the nose if that feels good. And then letting the exhale just fall away through the mouth and just finding a, a, a seat of honor for yourself with your eyes closed. And we're just gonna sit in silence for one minute and experience the gift of that. just feeling a sense of gratitude that you just gave yourself this beautiful gift of one minute of sitting feeling being silent as we now invite ourselves into a practice of loving kindness meditation 
and we're going to start this practice with offering it to you. Offering yourself this loving awareness and blessing. May I be happy. May I be at peace in my life. May I be healthy. May I be well. And really feel the vibrations of this blessing toward yourself. May I be at peace. And knowing that if we bring peace to ourselves, then that becomes a gift everywhere we are. Peace of life starts right here. And now imagine extending this loving kindness intention to others in your life, your maybe closest family, community, maybe even the circle. Just imagining all those that you care about, you're connected with, and offering that vibration to them. I wish for you to feel good, to be at peace. To be happy. To be liberated, to be free from suffering. Just as wish, just as much as I wish that liberation for myself. I extend that to those who I really love dearly, my family, my friends, this community. Imagine sending out that energy and how it feels that when we offer loving kindness, that has to come through you. So it's alive in you when you radiate that and wish that for others. Imagine doing that now to that person who cut you off in traffic the last time you were driving when you got angry they were going too slow and maybe even extend that can you imagine someone that you actually have a big challenge with in your life someone that there's some animosity can you find right now in your heart and extend that vibration that now we've been cultivating of love, of compassion, and wish them well. I wish you well. I really wish peace for you. Imagine it sending that to them. I really wish for you, may you be happy. And may you be free from suffering. And finally, as I close this opportunity to share with you and be with you, let's all together imagine this beautiful ball of blue we call home Mother Earth. Pachamama, as my indigenous relatives call her. And imagine this loving kindness vibration traveling around and around the globe, maybe reaching somewhere where it's really, truly needed right now. May all beings everywhere be happy. May all beings be at peace, really feel and live in peace. May they have enough food to eat and shelter, feeling safe. And may all beings be liberated, free from suffering. Thank you so much for sharing in this practice together. 
lots of wonderful things happening at Spirit Rock. Um, gatherings have begun again. There's some online offerings. Um, I'll put the link in the chat, spiritrock.org, and I hope to see you um, see you there sometime. And again, I'm so grateful to share this uh, gathering of gratitude and remembering. It's a gratitude. It's a gathering of remembering for me, so thank you so much. Thank you, Antonio, and uh, more, more thanks than we can express for setting up a website for this event um, out of the goodness of your heart and your lost sleep. <laughs> it happens to us geeks, and you're very welcome. It's my pleasure. <laughs> thank you for your sharing. That was, that was wonderful. Thank you. Um, I would like at this point to acknowledge, as I should have up front, that Danielle Fogel is also out of the goodness of her heart, supporting us in this event from her role as uh, part of the staff at the San Geronimo Valley Community Center. And Danielle, I would invite you to unmute if you can, and please tell us about the holiday food drive. Um, yes, well, um, once a week on Thursdays, we have a uh, food pantry. And um, as last year, we are um, asking if uh, the community would consider making a contribution to our food bank. And I think you should all have a slide um, showing you right now where it can be sent to you. Yes, we do. Yes. Great. Um, and then uh, it can either you can either go to our website at sgvcc.org and make a donation on behalf of the food bank, or you can uh, mail a check to our P.O. box in San Geronimo. Thank you so much, Danielle, and thank you, Community Center, for sharing Danielle with us today. So well, now we have the pleasure of hearing from the International Association of Sufism, Salima and Salim Machet, and they will sing and share with us. Thank you. We're so happy to be here. We're very grateful to join you all in this wonderful community event. Uh, our given Sufi names are, as, as Kate said, are Salim and Salima. Um, we are two members of Tanin Sufi Music Ensemble and are honored to represent the International Association of Sufism and our teacher is Sayyid Dr. Nahid Anga and Shah Nazar Sayyid Dr. Ali Kianfar. The song we are presenting today is called Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. These are two of the 99 most beautiful names of Allah, God, Creator, source of life. The traditional meanings of these sacred names are mercy, grace, compassion. We chose this song because it speaks to the intention of this gathering, which is gratitude, compassion, hope, and courage. And it's all about love. All about love. This song includes a zek or a chant which we hope you will uh, join us in singing. Between the words of the poem um, in the verses, written by Milana Shah Maksud, who was a great Sufi master of the 20th century, translated by a Sayyidi, Dr. Nahid Anga. The other beautiful names of God which we are calling upon are Fatah, Alim, Salam, and Azim. The opener, the all-knowing, the source of peace, and the greatest, most magnificent. We hope you will join us in singing the Zek, and you will see the words on your screen. Thank you, Danielle. You can show the words on the screen. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Yeah, fine. 
I did want to mention that we have our annual 40 days retreat um, and it's open to uh, the general public. It's open to people who need CEUs. Um, I will put into the chat. Um, we have music, poetry, uh, and uh, this year is love and wisdom uh, and our teachers will be there. So if that's something that interests you, I'll put it into the chat, the, uh, the website, and uh, it's uh, the last week in January. Uh, it is going to be online, we've decided this year, just uh, uh, just being very cautious. Uh, but uh, hope to see some of you there. <laughs> 
Thank you. Also, if you if you are a therapist or a social worker, you you can um, uh, collect uh, CEUs. I think there are at least ten, and uh, you're welcome to please sign up and register. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Salima and Salim. That was beautiful, just beautiful. And um, thank you for putting that information in the chat. Happy Thanksgiving to you. So now I would welcome the congregation St. Cecilia, St. Mary, um, and they have recorded their offering, which is clever. Um, and so I know this is something else that we've relied on Danielle to do. So if, if we can just be patient, I know Danielle will share it. Dear friends of San Geronimo Valley community, we come together to reflect on the theme of our gathering this year, re-emerging with gratitude, compassion, hope, and courage. We may ask ourselves, how can you and I express gratitude when we all have experienced this difficult time with the global pandemic, wildfires, and drought. Actually, even in terrible times, it's usually possible to find at least one thing you and I can be grateful about, such as life, love, relationship, family, and friends. Let us try to look at everything on its bright side, for tough times don't last forever. Eventually, everything will be all right. Everything will come back to normal. Here are some truths. There is always light at the end of every tunnel. After every storm, there is a rainbow. Now probably so you and I can find many reasons to give thanks as we celebrate this holiday of giving thanks. Let us give thanks with grateful hearts to the giver from whom we all have been receiving many gifts, many blessings. So we can reach out to share our blessings with others. Happy Thanksgiving to you and family. The Valley That Binds Us. This is adapted from The Hill We Climbed and is read with great homage to Amanda Gorman. When COVID came, we collectively groaned. Where can we find safety? How much and how long will we suffer? We asked ourselves, how will we survive this life threatening menace. Now, as we reemerge, we bow in gratitude. We are humbled. With every breath, 
we bless our recovering San Geronimo Valley. We bless our healthy children. We bless our greening West Marin Hills. We bless our life-giving water reservoirs. We bless our returning wildlife. Even as we bless, we continue to howl and to recuperate. Thich Nhat Hanh has often said, a true practitioner is not someone who does not suffer, but someone who knows how to handle their suffering. Let our valley say this is true, that even as we grieved, we grew, that even as we hurt, we hoped, that even as we stood weary, we remained undaunted, that our villages and our people, having journeyed together, will forever be bound with one another. Day has come. We step away from the oppression of forest flames and COVID fears. The new dawn balloons beautifully before us. For there is always light, if only we are brave enough to see it, if only we are brave enough to be it. Thank you, Congregation St. Cecilia and St. Mary, Father Nguyen Van Phan, and Marco Torres, and Sia Donahue, Robin Torres, and Geraldine Walsh. Thank you for your several offerings. That was beautiful. And very well filmed, I might add, Danielle. So now comes San Geronimo Community Presbyterian Church bringing up the rear, latecomers to the whole religion and faith party. Um, our Rabbi Jesus is not unknown to people in general. And I wanna say as I begin that I'm so grateful for the work that I have here in this amazing place. I live far away in Sonoma County, but I love coming to this valley, particularly now that it is greening again. I'm grateful for the San Geronimo Valley Community Center and how it connects us in so many ways and actually serves many of the functions that church used to serve in this place and in other places. And I love being connected with the community center. I'm grateful also, last year I remember talking about how grateful I was for Zoom, the bane of our existence, but how would we connect so well without it? This year, I'm grateful that my computer has survived this pandemic, at least so far. And I might curse it from time to time, but I am very grateful for its help. I wanna say a word about compassion. I, I was gonna profile a, a Christian known to me, but I, I chose instead to say that I think for, for me, 
compassion during this time and as we reemerge into something that resembles more closely our normal life, I have found that the humility of Jesus um, is inspiring to me. And I so do not want to be one of the Christians we all know who seems to do a lot in the name of love that does not look like what Jesus talked about. I don't wanna be one of those. And so I have leaned into a practice of listening. One of the things that I'm most grateful for during the pandemic was for several months, I was part of our honor pantry drive through food distribution. And I was able to add myself at the end for listening. And, and there were times when I prayed as well, but mostly I tried to listen. And I, I think that that is a, an, under, an underused skill and practice, maybe particularly of folks in my Protestant tradition of Christianity, and maybe even particularly in the Presbyterian part, which is highly educated, loves words, and maybe not as good at listening. So listening is something I recommend to us all. We can all be better at it. And it's such a relief for people who really, really need to vent and may not have an outlet. So I try to absorb. I try not to be rehearsing my one-upmanship of how hard my lot might be because my problems are nothing. A word about hope. The hope I see, the hope I see mostly is coming from people who are giving shelter to those without shelter. That is what I see, I notice making me hopeful. Where I live, there's a gospel mission that's especially good with helping folks with addiction. But in Marin, Homeward Bound is always inspiring. Ritter Center, Mill Street, I don't know all the people providing housing, but our San Geronimo Valley Affordable Housing Association deserves special thanks too for the work they're doing quietly behind the scenes to make this more equitable, a place to live. And I finally, in, in this vein of housing, I just wanna mention something you might not be aware of that actually is happening on the campus of the 150 year old seminary in San Anselmo. There is a small organization called Trans Heartline that provides three rooms to folks who are transitioning and they provide support and community for those folks in a very, very vulnerable time of their life. So I'm grateful for those ways people are providing shelter because they give me hope. The final thing I wanna say is about courage. And many of you appreciate gospel music, whether you've ever darkened the door of the church but the father of gospel music is a great profile in courage. His name is Thomas A. Dorsey, and he wrote the song that our choir is about to sing, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. And I didn't know this, but he wrote it. He was part of Ma Rainey's band in Chicago area, and he had come from a religious family. I think his father may have been a preacher. And so he, as many preacher's kids do, left the faith young and through a variety of miraculous things, returned to the faith. But while he was playing with Ma Rainey's band, he was bringing the good news of the gospel together with the bad news of the blues. And um, he became a powerful spokesperson for that. And then seven years after his marriage, he was playing at a revival and he got a telegram that his young wife, Nettie, had died in childbirth. And a day later, his infant son had died. And that's when he wrote this song. And I just want to acknowledge what a help it is at a hard time to have the presence of whatever you call a higher power. At the time, he, he actually shouted out, God, you're not worth a dime to me now. But he came around and felt God's presence with him as he walked through that valley of the shadow of death. So I'm going to let our, our praise choir sing it. And I didn't know who would be participating or I would have put their words. I'll read their names. 
so you know who will be singing. They will each do a verse. Um, so Terry Demartini will be first, and then Kelly Lawson, and then Lee Rockwell, Dorothy Cox, Susanna Shoemaker, and then Sharon and Jimmy Dami together. Jeff Labus is our music director. So I think we can be on gallery view and you might be able to see who's singing. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, help me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. When my way grows dear, precious Lord, linger near. When my life is almost gone, hear my cry, hear my call, hold my hand, lest I fall, take my hand, precious Lord, take me home. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, help me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am warm. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. When my way grows drear, precious Lord, linger near. When my life is almost gone, hear my cry, hear my call, hold my hand, lest I fall. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. Precious Lord, take my hand. Leave me on, help me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me. When my way grows dream, precious Lord, linger near, when my life is almost gone, hear my cry, hear my call, blow my hand, lest I fall. 
gracious Lord, lead me home. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. Thank you, choir. Thank you, Jeff. We are down to our closing song, and I want to thank you all for participating in this great event. We can, we can have open time for comment afterwards, but Carol Friedman will be leading us in a closing song that is simple and familiar, and That's we can right. sing it all together as long as we are muted. Sharon, right. Sharon, mute, okay. <laughs> So again, um, thank you for coming. And um, Carol, go ahead. Circle round for freedom. Circle round for freedom. Circle round for peace. For all of us in prison. Circle for release, circle round the planet, circle for each soul, for the children of our children, keep the circle whole, circle round for freedom, circle round for peace, for all of us in prison, circle for release, circle round the planet, circle for each soul, for the children of our children. Keep a circle whole. One more time. Circle round for freedom. Circle round for peace. For all of us in prison. Circle for release. Circle round the planet. Circle for each soul, for the children of our children, keep this circle whole. Beautiful. Amen. I would invite you all to unmute if you'd like to visit for a bit and wave at each other again. Thank you to everyone who participated. Thank you so much to Danielle mm -hmm. to the gallery for the again. Effort. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Danielle. Bravo. Bravo. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. It was lovely. Coming, Barbara. Oh, it was great. Thank you. Thank My you, husband Patty. Is here too. Thank you, Laylee. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Hi, Bob. Babe. Everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much. What a beautiful Thank gathering. Thank you for coming. It was Thank a you. gathering. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. We appreciate all you did. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you, Thank you, Kate. Cleveland. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, everyone. What a beautiful, beautiful program. Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks. Lovely. Lately. Thank, thank you, you Lily. Thank, thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everyone. Have Happy a wonderful Bye-bye. Nice to see Thanksgiving. everyone. Thanksgiving. Oh. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving, all. Happy Thanksgiving. Blessings to you all. Josie, do you have a question? <laughs> I just clicked ask to unmute for her. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't know how to unmute. We love you, Josie. <laughs> she knows how to unmute. Oh, okay. Speak or, up, Josie. Yeah, there she is. There you go. <laughs> Your hand is up. Ah, I'm in the dark, you know. It's dark here. It's very dark. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Marco. Hi, Marco. Hi, Hi. So much. It's a wonderful Bye, time. Geraldine. Thank you, Marco. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 It's nice seeing everybody. And now when I know I the name with the face, if I happen to see you at the post office. <laughs> Be well, everyone. That's what comes up. Take care. Thank you, Mary. That's beautiful. Thank you. Bye. 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 Next year at St. Cecilia and St. Rita's, who are the hosts, you follow. All right. Mary. You follow. And I'm going to, the website, I put the link in the, the chat. I'm going to keep that. That's going to keep going. So if you're talking about this with your friends, send them there to the sgvgratitude.com and they can sign up for next year already. <laughs>